This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. 6th of November 2017. This winter white dwarf hamster is a 9 months meal. Okay, so what, what is the complaint about this hamster? Yes, so there's the owner. a growth on his body mm. and he has loss of fur from, from his face onwards. From the face uh, yeah. or the nose? Uh. Okay, so I'll take the hamster out and put here because here it's easier to to uh, examine now. Normally we wear gloves, uh, sometimes get bitten. Now the reason for putting the hamster here is because this one is too high and a lower one will allow us to, to examine the hamster and also uh, to prevent it from running out of the table, examining the table and dropping on the floor. Because some hamsters are very fast, uh, especially if they bite the vet and then the vet let go and then the hamster just uh, fall down. Okay, so. Uh, can you hold it? Can you bite you? No, no, you won't. Okay, just show off the lump. Uh, just put, put, put here, don't, don't go further. Oh, okay, so very That's sure. yeah. Okay, so the complaint is a lump, no? Where? Uh, this part? This, this one. This one. Okay, yeah, there's a lump here, yeah. It's a small one, no? Yeah. How does it, how long already? So you um, need to know the duration. A month. Is it growing bigger? Yes, yes. It started with something very, very small, very, very tiny. Hmm. So, so this owner is uh, quite, quite, quite punctual in the sense that she doesn't want the, the, the skin lump to grow too big. Huh? If it grows too big, it's, it's uh, harder to operate. So now it's quite small and the hair loss you're talking about is around here. Correct, right? correct. So the hamster is irritated by it. Is this yeah, so Is there another lump anywhere else? Uh, no, no, but just that the, the fur loss has actually spread. Hmm. Now this uh, is a male hamster, right. you can see. Uh, okay, this is, I call it a wart. What means uh, papilloma virus, uh, skin papilloma virus. It produces a small lump which looks like a cauliflower. In fact, it looks very much like a cauliflower, but uh, it's not obvious because the hamster is leaky. How many months already? The duration of this wart? Uh, about a week. Oh, sorry, about a month. Okay, then you see for the, there are also some this hamster is not very happy with the whole side, you see. I, I, yeah. Bite you, does it bite you? No, no, it doesn't bite at all. No, because it's tender. So this whole part is infected also. Whether it's due to, to uh, the hamster scratching himself, using the back leg uh, to scratch. How about the other side? This is the right side. Okay, now turn to the left side. And we compare to the left side. Uh, same problem also, right? About the same. No, these are all infections. Uh. No, I mean, is there any, anything on the arm? No, not that I know. There? That is. Uh, there. Huh? This shouldn't be like that. This should be full of hair. So there are a lot of scales. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the problem is uh, this hamster actually got a generalized uh, infection on the lower part of the body. It's called. Is there another hamster biting him? Mm, Do they live separate together? separate already. Recently? Except yeah, just recently I after we saw food. that, yeah, yeah. Well, so you can see that uh, on top is okay, you know, mm. on top. Uh. So this is called ventral dermatitis. Ventral dermatitis means below the body, uh, ventral. Now this is a nice hamster, so I don't have to wear gloves. Now you can see actually, it's in the face, uh, mm. face on the right side and on the left side. So it's very itchy and it starts to scratch himself and becomes worse. Is appetite good or bad? Appetite good? Okay. Urine? Same like always, every day. Stool? Stool normal? Normal. Urine? I don't know. Okay. So, drinking? Normal? Yeah, normal. So, on the surface, you can see this temperature is very uh, normal, uh, the skin. Uh. But under the body, it's uh, full of infections. Uh. So, the reason is, what, what bedding are you using? The pellets one? Pellets one, the, the grey colour one. Ah, so she's using the grey pelleted feeding, which is not here, right? No, 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 no. And uh, so is it very damp? No, because the water for this leg. So she's using this uh, portable? Uh, actually not. This not one this? is just for temporary because of I this see it's leaking actually. It's leaking. Is it leaking? Yeah. Your water bottle leaking? Yeah, my water bottle was leaking. So that, that's the answer, lah, huh? that's the answer. So the whole lower body is become wet and then uh, reacted with the, the grey litter 
and then the hamster for how long already is at, leaking? No, at home it's not this one, it's the another bottle that's not leaking. Not because leaking. Because of this tank that I need to do. Okay, okay this, uh, this one is leaking, okay, but at home it's not leaking. But something reacted with the lower body, usually yeah. it's uh, the grey litter. Oh, is it because of the urine? Then, uh, did you change after? Two, two days once. Oh, she changed two days once. But anyway, so so the problem actually, it could have started with this uh, wart. We don't know, but before that, was it like this? No. Huh? So the problem could have started with the wart. Now, this owner had a, another hamster, which uh, I, was, I was just narrate the story. Now, the other hamster, as you can see in this, uh, uh, also another male hamster. Uh, this hamster, the, the scrotum was bitten by, was it by this hamster? Yes. Yeah, so this fellow beat the other fellow uh, and uh, there, there was some uh, infection. So we treated it but the owner didn't want a uh, 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 neutering. But you can see that uh, it's a right scrotal ulceration. Also means the scrotum uh, is uh, injured. Uh. And, but anyway, according to her, it's fully recovered now. And this was in uh, September 2017. Okay, so this one is a separate problem. This one is not scrotal ulceration. Scrotum is okay. This is scrotal. And also that you, you, you have separated them, right? Mm. Mm. But this one is a very bad ventral dermatitis, very bad. So she has to uh, really wash it. We have to shave, shave the hair up to this level, up to the... To the, the whole tummy? Yeah, and clean up for you. But once, the, the top is still okay, right? Unaffected. Yeah. yeah, but we need to shave a bit up because sometimes the thing is spreading under the. It will grow foot. back? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, so the wart, I will remove it later. So I won't remove the wart at the moment, but I can do it also. It's just that the problem is not the wart. No. I, I don't think it's the wart no, because it's really bad on both sides. If it's the wart, then it's only one sided. No. Now it's two sided. You can see. Uh, and this thing, if you untreated, it becomes very smelly. It becomes yellowish. We call it cellulitis. That one will, will be very hard to treat. Really. 7th of November 2017. This is a winter white dwarf hamster, male, nine months old. Came in yesterday with a complaint of ther uh, ventral dermatitis and white on the right side of the chest. Okay, what, what my assistant is trying to say is this uh, hamster I, I put it up here, has got a widespread skin infection uh, on the bottom. So it's called ventral dermatitis. But today it's not so great because we have given anti inflammatory antibiotics. Then you see the wart here, there is a wart here. Below the the quite below the right armpit actually is further down. Uh. And this is a male, you can see the testicles here. Okay, are you gonna bite me already? Okay, are you finished? Okay, so we are going to put under anesthetic and shave and then I will cut off the wart. I will cut off the wart. So that, that's, that, that's how we do under gas. So now the hamster is anesthetized, it's being anesthetized by gas at 5%, isofluorine and oxygen and the flow rate about 3 to 4. And once the hamster is down, then I will take it out and continue with the... I will remove the wart first. And then, uh, not just show. See, it's not moving already. There's no point showing the bottom because otherwise, how are we going to show the. Okay, it's down already. So, take it out. And uh, I will do the wart removal. We do quite fast, otherwise, the follow will come. It also swap a bit. Okay, then this one is a simple one. But you still remove the whole wart, otherwise, it comes back again. Cut the stop. There is it, it's a very no, no bleeding. Okay, then uh, then my system will go and shave that. We just demonstrate some clipping, some clipping of it quickly. Just on the surface, not more on the side. Below, no need already, below, no need. Just on the side, ah, that side, correct. The side there. Quite quickly before it wakes up. Then just side, on the side only. The side only, this side only. We're not interested in the below already. Below is quite short. I can't show. Both sides, yeah. Then after that, we will wash with the with the antifungus and antiseptic wash as much as possible. Then might even on top also. We just 
generously, generously, uh, because we are not going for beauty contest, so just zoom. And it's going to be fast because the fellow is going to wake up. Go, go, go. Although this is supposed to be a guess, uh, you see. But uh, it's not, not too much otherwise the fellow will pass away. Okay, come. We we'll go the other side. Uh, this, you see, you got to do it under guess because the fellow will not be, be uh, the cooperative. Huh? No, up to the neck, if possible. If not, then just do the whole body. There, there's no need to spare anything. Just go, go, go. See? Because sometimes there's some infection further inside under the coat, but it look, looks like okay. Yeah. Just, just shave both out also can. Doesn't matter. Just, just uh, in case. Uh, what happens is sometimes they have this under, we call it under mine, below, uh, under mine. And, so this is shaving and after that we will use the antifungal shampoo to wash and rinse and of course antibiotics. Okay, finish, finish, finish. But be careful you don't clip off the ears uh, there's anything then. Okay, finish here. Then check the below, check the below. You're more interested in the below. Uh. The face and the whiskers I think we can't do it. So now there's some ventilation, so not so itchy. Uh. And uh, you just check the below. So you just edit certain parts of it and then you consider it. Okay, come, let's see the fellow already wake up already. So then rub onto it, hold the scruff of the neck, and then rub onto that area to rub away all the dirt. Normally I give it a bath, you know, you can go through the container. Huh? When it's awake, it goes through the container like a bath, huh? like cat, cat like that, but sometimes it's dangerous huh? in case the fellow swallow the panic and swallow the water. Okay, then after rub, rub very hard and then we take another gauze swab and rinse, rinse away. But the only thing we need a container so that the hamster doesn't run away. Doesn't run away. Otherwise, of course, now, now he's okay, finish. Just put it in first and then rinse. Now another thing to rinse. And we do it every day. Because this hamster is quite cooperative, so it's all right. Okay, the best is having another container. Not this one. Eh? Okay, then you just because if they don't bite, if they are still uh, and then it quickly uh, unpeed everything there, eh? rub harder and then rub all the dirt, all the causes the itchiness, uh, some uh, some chemicals because this hamster was, was uh, sleeping on some something wet or something with chemicals. Uh. So we try and do it every day and then with, with drugs, this, this isn't going to be so red. When we so red, then it won't be scratching. As you saw in the hook earlier on, the hook was scratching here and there. Now you see this fellow, the face also has some uh, infection, the nose here, you can see. Black, they shouldn't have a black, black nose. Uh. Hmm. So you're lucky that the hamster is still... You now the eyes are popping out already, so that's pretty bad income. Relax already, let it relax. Eyes popping up means it's very stressed out.